Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to go manga shopping at Kinokuniya, so let's go! Starting off, the first place that I have to look is of course the blind bag selection. I was so happy with the amount of blue lock blind bags they had. It was still not a lot, but the selection was much better than it has been. They had so many rubber straps and these were so cute. I don't know what these were, like omanju buns or what. Sadly, I did not get any since there weren't any like must-haves and they were quite expensive. So I'll probably just import them. They had quite the selection of Haikyuu and JJK though. So many great stuff i don't know i've been really obsessed with uh satoru and suguru lately they also had the uh oh my god what's his name isagi nandroi i always forget his name okay i know he's like the mc but i'm so bad with names here's some more of the figures and the high key blind bags that they had these were so cute i love like the like little paper bag blind bags i just i don't know why i just love them so much opened a couple of these up in the past. They're really cute. I was just so taken with this Kogiyama button. I've been really liking Kogiyama lately. I think he's my new favorite aside from Bokuto. They had a lot of Ken badges. These ones also caught my eye. I thought it was really fun, like their relaxed look. I grabbed a few of these. These are the kind of Daiso and Ski uh, acrylic sandies. They're really nice. They're pretty cute blind bags and they're cheap. So I got them for the shorts. They had a lot of Nandroids, a lot of AOT Nandroids, some JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Nandroids, and then I moved on to checking out the magazines. I absolutely adore the magazines so much, I don't think you guys know. I would have like a whole army of them if it just were not for the fact that they're literally giant. They're like huge, and so it would just take up so much space. But I also love how they all come with their own respective extras. So of course I had to check out every single magazine and their corresponding extras. The one thing that I don't like about Kinokuniya and this respect is that they don't have prices on their uh, magazines which is a pain because i don't know how much these are they could be five dollars they could be 25 dollars i don't know here's another one they have a wide variety this one had stunning art like i mean stunning cover art oh my goodness this one i thought was really cool it had a giant extra like a book or something classic shoujo art there i saw this oshinoko like magazine this one looked really cool. They had Tokyo Avengers on the back. And then I also saw this one, which, I don't know, these were just so pretty. Like, all of them were so gorgeous. Like, look at this uh, Pop Care Diaries one. It's stunning with Momo on the cover. Here is their end cap that has not line bags, but just other goods. So a lot of Miku stuff. Like, a lot of Miku stuff. Which is fun. They have a huge selection of Chainsaw Man blind bags. A couple more Blue Lock stuff. These were so cute. I've never seen these before. I thought it was so funny that Makima was a beer glass and I loved how power was meowy. These are so cute. Once again, really expensive. So I did not end up getting any. I saw these acrylic stands, which are cute, but also really expensive. But I ultimately saw this and I about freaked out because it's power in a whole bunch of costumes. She is so cute. So of course I grabbed one. These are really expensive once again. So I only just picked up one. I definitely will either have to come back for more or import them because they are all so cute. I need them all. Here's some more of their art book selections. I just love art books. Once again, another thing that I absolutely would love to collect. It's just right now, I don't really have the space or the money for it. Uh, I'd rather spend it on like merchandise and manga right now, but in the future I would absolutely love to collect it. Now moving on to the manga. They had a pretty good selection of manga here today. Here's some of their Japanese stuff. This one I already have. I saw this here and it was once again very expensive. It was 19 US dollars, which is expensive. I'm happy I got mine in Japan. This is really cool. This is for the Japanese volumes. They had like a little selection of volumes one through three of the apothecary diaries i thought that was really cool here is a condition called love volume four i don't think i have this so i ended up picking it up because i think i only have one through three i'm not sure excuse me just destroying the shelves but i saw honey lemon soda i hear the story is pretty like mid or like just mediocre uh but the art is gorgeous here's a hori mia fan book thing really cool it is hefty i think it has colored pages or something it's just really hefty sadly no my love makes it volume 9 i about cried i like need volume 9 so bad i saw my next life is villainous volume 8 i don't know if this is new is it new i don't know this one had stunning art i just i don't know i'm a sucker for pretty art okay i like pretty pictures what can i say here's some more of their larger volumes like tokyo avengers way of the house husband and whatnot here i saw this another isekai series 
Once again, Pretty Pictures and Isekai, sign me up. This is a series that I need to get some time. It's just, it was not on the list for today. I try to keep a list to keep myself from going crazy. They had Oshinoko, which I hear is really good. I enjoyed the first little bit of the manga that I read online. They had some Spy Family, sadly no volume 5 of Yakuza Fiancé, but they did have quite the selection of Slam Dunk, which is cool. They had a little bit of Spy Family here, and a lot of Toilet Ban Hanako Kun, and more Spy Family, and more JJK, and more Chainsaw Man. They had Yona of the Dawn, Zelda, and a whole bunch of Yotsuba manga. I don't know why, but they also keep some manga over here, like Blue Lock and Hell's Paradise. I ended up finding the one copy of My Love Makes Up Volume 9 that they had in stock. I was freaking out, so excited. Here are some of their new releases. Lovesick Ellie, Hunter Hunter Volume 37, Windbreaker Volume 2. I ordered it from Right Stuff like a bajillion weeks ago and it's yet to ship even. I'm so sad. Same with Kaiju Number 8 and Given Volume 8. Uh, yeah, I saw this series, looked really pretty, but it was not on the list. Let me know if it's good. Same with this one. It was not on the list, so I did not get it, but it looked so gorgeous. I just, it was in awe. They had the Chainsaw Man box sets, and these are not new releases, but just, I guess, cool, recommended series. Here is some of their more merchandise. They had a lot of these, like, Oshinoko, like, little omanju bun looking things. Oshinoko is very popular, as you could tell by the exorbitant amount of merchandise that they had at this location. After admiring their exorbitant amount of merchandise and manga, I checked out and headed home. Okay everyone, so I just got back from shopping at Kinokuniya, and I also went to the grocery store at Uwajimaya and picked up a few things, so let's get into the haul. Starting off with the manga that I picked up, I picked up My Love Makes Up Volume 4, which I'm- excuse me, Volume 9, which is the final volume in the series. I'm so excited that I picked this up because I've been trying for this entire month so far to pick up this volume. It's just been- I don't know why, it's just been eluding me, but I finally have it, so I finally completed my love mix-up. I'm so excited to see how the series ends. I've been so enjoying it up to this point. It's such a cute series. I highly recommend it if you guys want a really cute romance series. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Yay! The next volume of manga that I picked up was A Condition Called Love Volume 4. I've actually already read this one online, but I saw it in stores and I decided to pick it up. I actually thought on my like on the way back in the car I honestly thought I accidentally bought a duplicate because on my like little spreadsheet that I have of things to get I already checked this one off so I thought I already bought it but luckily I had yet to buy it I only have one to three so I was already I was missing this one so I did not buy a duplicate huzzah but this is a really cute romance series it's a high school romance I think it's really adorable I love the art and yeah I love the female lead she's so cute yeah, this is a little bit more expensive at a $10.99 price point, but overall not that bad, and I did have a 10% off everything because of my membership, and I also had a gift card there, so yay! Now on to the anime merch and whatnot that I got. Starting off, I got two of these uh, Chainsaw Man wafer card packs from Uajimaya, which is like the grocery store. I opened up one of these before, I think it was in my blind bag video a while back. From a couple weeks ago i think it was one that looked like this and i ended up getting a aki card it was one of these scene cards but yeah i saw them there so i decided to grab them i'll be opening them up them up in probably like one of my white uh youtube shorts so if you guys want to see that be on the lookout for that i also picked up three spy family wafer cards this is version two uh these anya variants are so cute like look at this one of her i actually have already gotten one of these before from the same place and i opened them up and i was lucky enough to get this card which is like the one of the rarest ones so i was so happy it's so cute it's anya sleeping it's this design it is adorable so yeah i got three of them because i love spy family and i love how sparkly and cute and shiny these are i'm so excited to open these up once again i'll be opening these up in a youtube short the last wafer cards that i got were i got four of these uh kimetsu no yaiba uh what do you call them wafer card things this is version 7 i had no idea there were so many variants but i just saw gyo and I was like, okay, you have me sold. So yeah, it looks like there's normal, rares, SR, and then SEC. I don't know. I'm not really a card knowing person. Once again, I got these for shorts. So we have the Hashira design on the front. And this one just has the core uh, four plus Kanel. So yeah, got four of those. Then from Kinokuniya, I picked up three of these uh, Haikyuu, Enski, like little mini acrylic stand blind bags. I've actually already gotten, I think, three or four of these and I opened them up before. I ended up getting, I think I got uh, Atsumu, Kogiyama, 
Hinata and Tsukishima, I want to say. But I want to get Bokuto, and I decided to grab these since they had them there. These are really cheap. They were $3.99, which is a pretty good price. Still a little bit more expensive than they are in Japan. They're like 100 yen there, but whatever. I'm still super excited about these. And yeah, I got these also for a short later on. And the last thing I got was this, which is a Chainsaw Man Power Acrylic Stand. They are so cute. I, you guys saw me showing you guys the designs. Absolutely adorable. So I had to pick one of those up. Sadly, they were a little bit expensive at $13.99. But, you know, let's get this open and see who I got. All designs are good. I am just, you know, excited that I was able to get one of these. Let's see who this is. And the power I got is... Oh my god, look how cute she is! Oh my god, okay, ball chain down there. Here's the base. Oh my god, look how cute this base is, too. This is gonna be so cute. Oh my god, look how cute! Oh, okay, I need the full set now. Like, look how cute these are. I'm gonna see if I can get the full set off of, like, Mercari Japan or something, because look how cute this is. I need all of them. So cute! Look at her. She's adorable, okay? I love power. She's so cute. I love this. Yay! So yeah, here's everything that I got in today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and shopping with me at Kinokuniya. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.